everybody, Carrie here back with another episode of Pokemon Sword Crown Tundra on the Nintendo Switch. Last episode was technically the end of the Crown Tundra, but I forgot something big um, <laughs> over the past few episodes. I literally completely forgot about this after I caught all those Reggies. I literally forgot everything about this. And that is... Um... That I forgot three more uh, legendaries. <laughs> three more legendaries. I completely forgot about three more legendaries. And I have no idea why. It just happened. Um, hold on. I'm looking for all my Reggies. Just because I always want them in my party. Is that the last one? No. Yes. No. Wait. Three, five. Okay. Okay. I can only have five anyways, because I always hold Cinderace with me, so. Okay. Alright, so just in case I come across strong Pokemon, which I will be doing, I have all my Reggies with me. Anyways, so I forgot something major. Um, over the past few episodes, and that is I have not yet caught Verizion, Cobalion, or Terrakion. And, um, a little bit, like, probably like 20 minutes ago, I was going through my Pokedex looking for all the Pokemon, you know, writing a list of all the Pokemon I don't have yet. And I saw those three, and I'm just like, oh shoot, I forgot about the footprints. I literally forgot about the footprints. I found like a lot of them at least in the ice area uh, But I completely forgot to continue looking for the footprints. So that's what this video is on now This one should be the final episode of crown tundra hopefully Anyways, so I'm supposed to be looking for the footprints Because I completely forgot about them. Okay, so I have locations or at least general locations. So let's see, first of all, Sonia told me a long time ago that there's a bunch of footprints around the Crown Tundra that I need to investigate. So, first one, we're looking for cavern footprint locations. Balamir Lake, Dynatree Hill, and Lakeside Cave. Okay, so they're all gonna be in the Crown Tundra. I just need to know these areas, what they're called. Oh, you know what? This one is the one I've already, like... Over here is where I already, like, found some of the lake... I um, mean, the, um... Footprints... What is this? Three Point Pass. So... It's called Iron Will? I think that's what it's called. Frigid Sea, that's where I need to go. Alright, so let's go over here and we're just going to try to look for footprints so I could catch these Pokemon. Let's see, I think it's over here. Oh my god, I'm so tempted to catch that Pokemon. Just because, or actually both of these because I don't have them. But, this episode is focused on footprints, so... Let's see what we can do. I remember coming over here. And finding a bunch of footprints. Like right here. 22%. Cool. Okay, let's go ahead and walk while I do this. So basically I'm just gonna... Scan the ground. Hopefully it won't take too long to find all these footprints. 26, 28, 30. I found a pearl. Okay.
I'm so focused right now. <laughs> Don't mind me if I get quiet. I'm just gonna try to look for these footprints. Shh. No talking. <laughs> 34. Okay. Hello, Walreen. I actually need you for my Pokedex too. Okay. 36. 38. I wonder if there's always like a specific number of percent in each of these areas. 42. 44. Because all of the percent won't be in one area. I'll have to go to a different place to find more footprints. Forty-eight. Fifty. Okay. Just checking again. There you go. I missed one. Fifty-two. Fifty-four. This is actually... Amazing. I thought I would only find like 40% in this area because on the internet there is four areas located where I could find these footprints. So this is crazy how I found 50% in one area. I was not expecting that. Okay, I'm just giving it another look, see? Quick look -see. Okay. Um. I actually need like all of these Pokemon, <laughs> by the way, for my Pokedex, but. I can't catch them right now. I am busy. Mr. Torch, how you doing? I am doing great. Alright, so I looked at Frigid Sea. Now, Giant's Foot. <laughs> the Giant's Foot. Okay. Let's see where the Giant's Foot is. We're actually in here. How do I come over here again? I need to go over here? Oh, that's Giant's Foot. Okay. Yeah, let's go over there. I need to go to Giant's Foot. Um, if I could just figure out where that is, then I will do that. Wait, why am I up here? I guess that's where my head goes. Okay, you know what? Let's go over here. Okay, so I need to go. Okay, there's a temple. I need to go through this rainstorm. Um, hold on. I can figure this out. Up over here? I still don't really know the crown tundra very well. Here you go. Giant's foot. So, there should be footprints over here somewhere. I think. It might be hard to see. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, that scared me a little bit. Just a little bit. I don't think I've actually ever seen a Sizzlipede out in the wild. Or, I mean, a Centiscorch. Out in the wild. It's crazy. Okay, I don't care, Stone Journer. I don't care. Alright. Oh, here's one. Okay, so that's what they look like. Um, they're just dark blue. Okay, I could try to find that. There's more. 58. Dark blue. 
They are kind of hard to see, though. Kind of. Like, sometimes they look like rocks. Honestly. And there's a lot of rocks here. So, sometimes they look like rocks. Okay. There we go. 60%. Oh my god, there's an Arkin! <laughs> I need that too for my Pokedex. Um, I haven't seen an Arkin yet before. Okay. Just double checking that I didn't miss anything. And I don't think there was anything past the grass that way. I don't know, I could be wrong. I'll probably have to go check again. Hello, Arkin. Don't mind me. Just scanning for footprints. Okay, there's a Pokeball over here that I've never seen before. Poison Barb. Okay. Hmm. I don't think the Pokemon came this way. The giant legendary. Doesn't seem like it. Okay. If I can, I want to not go in the grass. Okay, I'm just gonna skip this area. If I'm missing some, I'll probably have to come back, but for now, this is another area over here where there should be some more footprints. Um, wait. There's two entrances. Here we go. 66. Okay, so I guess we're just following the footprints. Let's go over here. 68. Wow, there's a clear path here. I love this. <laughs> I love this. There's actually a clear path where they went. Let's see. It says they went this way. But then it says they went this way. And then it says they went this way. Okay. Okay, I'm assuming that I'll be able to find the rest of the footprints in this cave. Because there's a lot. There is a lot. Okay, they went this way. Cool. Oh my god. Okay, five more. Oh my god. Pile of swine, move out of the way. Hello. Hi, dragon. Oh, you're chasing me. I see. <laughs> I'm just like, hello, do you want to say hi? Wait, why are there so many footprints? You guys, what is up with this? Okay. 100. Go to Freezington to let Professor Sonia know. Wait. Oh, and then the footprints disappeared. So there's more footprints than it says? Okay, that's weird. That's strange. Um, okay. I think let's go ahead and do that. Before I look for the other footprints. Should I catch this Pokemon first? Let's see. Go to Freezington. I will do that. Alright. Pretty good. I think Sonia was in this house. 
Sonia was, us was using a house for her experiments. Kiara, how's it going gathering evidence? About that evidence. Want to check your progress? Let me see what you found so far. Data for the Iron World Pokemon is at 100%. Data for the... Okay. Yep. I see. You've gathered 100% of the data needed to track the Iron World Pokemon. This should be enough data for us to pin down where it actually lives. Where it usually lives. <laughs> so if I feed all this data into my trusty Pokemon Finder, it's searching for energy signatures... And it's found a matching Pokemon. The Iron World Pokemon can be found at the Frigid Sea. You'll finally get to come face to face with the legendary Pokemon we've been searching for. Best of luck. Okay. Um, at the Frigid Sea. Okay. So yeah, I guess that explains why this website says there's four different locations for these footprints. It's because there's like a lot more. But, you don't need all of it. Okay. Uh, let's go to the Frigid Sea. I don't know where exactly it's going to be at. She just said the Frigid Sea, so... I guess we're going to go to the Frigid Sea. And do I have Master Balls? I should, right? I think I might as well use them for this for these Pokemon. Let's see, where should it be at? Just gonna scan the area. Where am I going? <laughs> I don't think I've been here over uh before. Oh, it's another exit from the cave. Okay. I see. I see. Okay, so, there's another exit from the cave. If we go this way, it'll probably be at this island that I found most of the footprints. Maybe. Do you think it'll just be like on an iceberg or something? You know, I don't know what I'm thinking. I should just probably go check this island. I don't think it'll be in the middle of the ocean. Ah! <laughs> See, I should have just checked her in the first place. It's Cobalion. Alright, you guys, this is the Iron Will Pokemon. Okay. No, why did I click that? I could just click this. I have two! Okay, so one of them I'll have to fight. Um, thank you, friends, <laughs> for giving me Master Balls. Yeah, I'll fight one of them. Don't know which one. But I'll have to fight one of them. Nice. I caught a Cobalion. First legendary down. Okay. So now, we caught Cobalion. Now, if we're looking at this list here. Now let's look for the grassland footprints, um, which will be at Frost Point Field, Giant's Bed, or Old Cemetery. Okay, Frost Point Field, Giant's Bed, which is over here, or the Old Cemetery. Okay, so I guess let's walk. I don't know what color they're going to be. I'm assuming green. So it might be really hard to find. Those are flowers. <laughs> white? Yeah, they're white. Okay. They are white. It still is pretty hard though, because they do look like rocks. They literally look like rocks. 
Okay, well, they're white. And they lead this way, so I guess I'm going this way. Here we go. Nice. Just follow this path. I got a sprig of serious mint. Alright, I don't know what that means. Oh my god, I hate this thunderstorm, man. It kind of makes it hard to see everything. I'm just saying. Okay, there's another one. Is it telling me that it went into the water? No. I have no idea. There's a bunch of footprints everywhere. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just like, oh my god. That Araquanid was after me. All right. Excuse me. Don't mind me. Don't talk to me. All right. I think I went up this hill. Just because this is still part of the giant's bed or something. Okay, excuse me, Araquanid. Oh, God. Last one. Okay. Let's go. Um, where am I going exactly? Oh, hi, Jolteon. Is this where I just was, right? I, th I think it just went in a circle. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Alright. <laughs> Let's go. At least there's still footprints over here. It clearly stuck against this wall. Clearly. It really likes this wall. Giant's foot. Okay. I don't think that's part of the... No, that's not on the list. Well, I'm finding a lot here. 40... 42... This one was pretty hidden. There was literally grass on top of it. Alright, what's up this hill? More of the giant's bed. Looks that way. Yeah, this place is huge. <laughs> this place is really big. Okay. Fifty percent. Not bad. Fifty two percent. I think I'm near the old cemetery as well, which is another area that these footprints could be at. Fifty four. Fifty 
58. Hello, Electabuzz. Alright. Sixty two in one area. That is crazy. All right, what's over here? Snow slide scope. I mean, slope. <laughs> okay, so that's not on the list. Okay, so. Wow, there's still more. Okay, <laughs> never mind. I was gonna say let's go somewhere else, but there are still m more areas in this one area that I have not checked yet. One thing I'm noticing about these legendaries is they really like hanging against the cliffs. They really like walking against the cliffs. Alright, so I pretty much checked this whole area. Now let's go... Oh, hold on. So one right here. Now let's go this way. Check this area. All right. So normally they like hanging against, uh, hanging out against the edges of a cliff or something. So I'll just follow the edges. Okay, that one was pretty hidden. This one too, oh my god. <laughs> Literally grass is growing on top of the footprints. But I... I have the right eye. <laughs> I have the right eye. I could see through their little... tricks. Where am I? Is this the old cemetery? No, right? I have no idea where I am. <laughs> I think I'm still at the giant's bed or whatever. This place is huge. Well, no, I probably sw switched location. I just haven't noticed it. I'm still finding footprints, though, so... I'm still in the right place. Okay, that's 90. Okay, almost done. Did I check against this wall yet? I don't know. But I'm finding more against this tree. Okay. is the old cemetery because that's another location I don't know I don't even know if it will matter because I'm only 4% away okay I need to find one more 
one more set of footprints. Just one more. Come on. Where are you hiding? Nice. Okay. Go to Freezington and let Professor Stone you know. Okay, well that wasn't bad. Oh, this is all part of the giant's bed. Wow, okay. I literally only checked half of the giant's bed and found 100%. That is crazy. Alright, well let's go to Freezington. And I think this should lead me to Verizion? I mean, if it says grassland, it should be like the grassland Pokemon. And Verizion is the color of grass, so... Oh, she's telling me something. Hold on. <laughs> I was right. I knew. I knew my theory was right. Oh, er, sorry. Please don't mind me. I just got a bit too excited there. Here, you definitely deserve a reward for showing me such a fine, legendary Pokemon. Thanks? Don't really need those. Now, I'm certain that the other two must be here in the Crown Tundra, too. Keep up the search. Okay, so I just showed her my Pokemon. All right. Data for the Grassland Pokemon is at 100%. You've gathered 100% of the data needed to track the Grassland Pokemon. There should be enough data for us to pin down where it, where it usually lives. So if I feed the, all this data into my trusty Pokemon Finder, it's searching for energy signatures. And it's found a matching Pokemon. The Grassland Pokemon can be found in the Giant's Bed, obviously. <laughs> Obviously, that's where I found all the footprints. You finally get to come face to face with the legendary Pokemon we've been searching for. Best of luck. Okay. <laughs> Obviously. I, I could have told you that. I could have told you that. It will be in the giant's bed. Alright, well, I think let's teleport over here. And just go to the left. Just travel to the left looking for it. This is a big area, so might take some time to find it. I'll just follow this trail, this path. I don't know where it would be. What's up here? That's Giant's Foot. Okay, so that's not where I want to go. Okay. This is the old cemetery. I don't know how I didn't come here earlier. I don't know how that's even possible, but it is possible, so I don't know. Okay, let's go up here. There's an aerodactyl. Jolteon. Araquanid. Electivire. And then up here, Snow Point or Frost something. Okay. Now we go back down the hill. Watch it be like right at the beginning of the giant's bed. So therefore I didn't even need to teleport over here because it was just like right over there. <laughs> okay. Alright. So over here is the entrance, technically. Frost Point Field. Okay, so. Wow, where is it supposed to be? I feel like it needs like a special area to be at. Here's another entrance to the giant's bed. I don't see it over here. 
Okay. Is it going to be in the grass? I imagine it won't be. I mean, maybe it likes grass, so it'll be at the grass. It will be walking in the grass. I don't know. Okay. Um. Now I'm just going in circles. Oh, hey! <laughs> I was just about to, like, give up. Thanks, uh, Teresa, for the update <laughs> on getting me those Pokemon. Okay, Verizion, I am going to go ahead and actually fight you. I'm scared to use Cinderace, though. Okay, hold on. What type is Verizion? This is something I should probably know. <laughs> Verizion. Grass fighting. Okay, so yeah, I definitely shouldn't use Cinderace. Um, grass fighting? Grass fighting. I shouldn't use Red Eyes. Unless I use Zap Cannon. Okay, now I need to look at my Pokemon type chart. If if I'm if I'm correct about this, electric should be not very effective against grass. Um electric should be not very effective against grass. So I mean I could try Reggie Steel. I guess. Let's try that uh zap cannon. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. But you still you're gonna have to risk yourself. Let's see how much a zap cannon does. Or I mean a charge beam. The other one had a zap cannon. Oh you attack first. Okay, that that's bad. It's fine. I have more electric types. It's cool. We're cool. Alright, Reggie Lucky. Let's see how much your attack does. We're gonna do Thunder Cage. No. Okay, let's try this one Electro Web. Okay, that actually was pretty good. <laughs> that was actually pretty good. Leaf Blade. Wow, that's strong. Okay. Again. Paralyze it. No? You lowered speed, I guess. Okay. One more hit. Electro web. Okay, now hopefully I could catch you with an Ultra Ball. Wait, hold on. Do I even have Ultra Balls? You guys, I don't think I have Ultra Balls. I don't. Okay. And I have three Great Balls. God. I, I always forget to buy more Pokeballs. I always forget to buy more Pokeballs. I don't know why. I just do. Okay. Let's do this again. Hang in there, Reggie Rock. I'm gonna try catching you with a Pokeball. Just because I have the most Pokeballs. Which is 15. That's that's totally a lot, right? Wow. Ow. 
Yeah, Virizion is hard. Okay, let's go again. Um, let's do Reg Ice just cause. If only one of those electric type attacks had paralyzed it, this might have been easier. A beast ball. <laughs> Imagine I catch it with a beast ball. What's a level ball? Makes it easier to catch Pokemon that are at a lower level than your own Pokemon. I mean, technically it is. It's not too low of a level, but... Makes it easier to catch Pokemon when they're asleep. Pokemon that evolve using a Moonstone. Grow friendlier towards you. Huh. Okay. Okay, it shook once. <laughs> it shook once. We made progress. Dang it! Sure. Premier Ball. Go. Okay. It really does not like those Pokeballs. I really should have stocked up on Pokeballs. But I did not. Okay. Here, I'm sending in Cinderace, and then hopefully a level ball will work. I mean, it's a long stretch, but... It, it could happen. It's like... It's like... What is that? Um, 24 levels lower than me? Okay. <laughs> that, 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 uh, I was worth a try. That was worth a try. Wow. Okay. Yeah, Verizion, you are... You are really... Kicking me. <laughs> really hard. Okay. Um... God. I don't want to have to use a Master Ball when I already got it to the red. Um... I already got it to the red. There you go. Oh my god. You are like the strongest right now. Because of your sword stance. Okay, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to do it. I hate having to do that. But I mean sometimes it's it's got to happen. Mm, I'm scared. What happens if I die? Like just die? Does it disappear? I don't know. You know what? I don't know. <laughs> I I'm going to use it. If only I had one more master ball. But I used all the Master Balls I received from friends. It's fine. It's fine. Now I need to figure out what type Terrakian is. Alright. So, let's look for the next Pokemon, I guess. Alright. Oh, and also, I should really go heal. And get more Pokeballs, because no way am I fighting Terrakian without any Pokeballs. Okay, so one more set of footprints. One more set of footprints.
Okay, so we we found the grassland, we found the iron will. Next one we're going to find is the cavern footprint locations. So, Balamir Lake, Dinah Tree Hill, and Lakeside Cave. The footprints are dark brown, almost black. I never noticed that the website actually told me what color they are. Alright, so we're looking for Balamir Lake, Dinah Tree Hill, Lakeside Cavern. Okay. But first of all, I have a lot of Pokeballs to buy. And I do have like a million, um, I do have like a million dollars, so I am, I am good. All right. Okay, first location, Balamir Lake. Dinatry Hill, so just in this area? And Lakeside Cavern. Perfect. So it's just going to be around this area. Got it. And they're going to be black. Alright, let's look around. It says they're going to be dark brown, almost black. So which means they'll probably look more like rocks than ever. Probably. More like stones. Than any other one. Okay. Um, I checked on the edge, but maybe they're right next to the tree? Huh. I, I guess the, there's none by the tree. Alright. Um, let's get out of here then. If I could just figure out where to do that. If I could just figure that out, then I could do that. Oh my god, where am I going? This way. Somewhere. There you go. I was just looking for the, uh, the pathway. Here they are. These are huge. Oh my god. Wait, how did I not notice these when I came here the first time? Got no idea. Hey Ed, how you doing? Welcome back. Mm. Okay. So yeah, the footprints are pretty big. It's kind of easy to tell where they are. Kind of easy to see them. Totally. I guess Terrakian does have the bigger feet. <laughs> or hooves, or whatever he has. Hello, Corviknight. Good morning to you too, Ed. Okay. So yeah, you came right in the, you know, the moment where I'm trying to find these footprints. The right moment when I'm trying to find these footprints. Because literally I forgot that there were footprints <laughs> in the Crown Tundra. So how... Can I call myself, you know, could I call it 100% complete if I don't have these footprints? Okay. Oh my god. Hi, Boltund. Oh my god, there's a lot over here. Okay, he w 
was really hanging out by this tree. I guess he likes fruit. That's something to take note of, I guess. Terrakian loves fruit. Who doesn't? <laughs> Alright. He likes this tall tree as well. I think Terrakian just loves trees. That's what I'm figuring out. Alright, so there's a tree over here. I'm just gonna check the tree. Um, okay, he avoided this tree for some reason. <laughs> he avoided it for some reason. Maybe it wasn't to his standards? Okay, he chose to hang out by this tree, though. Okay. What do we got? He came over here and hung out around this tree. Yeah, I see that. Okay. And then he came over here. He actually did not come over here. Okay, maybe he went to this tree. Okay, he hung out by these, uh, what are these called? Plots of soil? I don't know what they're called. Um, okay. Hello, Tyrantrum. Let's see. He came over here and looked at the wonderful view. Yeah. Okay, he really likes this tree. Goodbye, Tyrantrum. He came over here. Enjoyed the scenery. Okay. Okay. Um So following his path. He seems to really like trees. That's what I'm figuring out. I mean, who doesn't like trees, right? Okay, he came over here. He also likes scenery. He came over here to the cliffs and looked at the beautiful blue sea. That's what he did. And then he also walked this way. to hide under more trees. That's what he did. I know exactly what Terrakian did with his life. <laughs> I, I know exactly what he did before he, you know, vanished into thin air. For only researchers to find its footprints. He liked to chill by the edges and stare at the ocean while hiding or I mean not hiding, while um, resting underneath trees. <laughs> and he even ate some fruit from the fruit trees. I cannot tell which 
fruit he uh, he really likes though. It's hard to say. I don't think I've ever been over here before. This place literally does not look familiar. Like this area of the Dynatree Hill or whatever. It literally does not look familiar at all. There's a gravestone over here? Words are carved into this ancient tombstone. Spread my voice. Okay. I don't know whose tombstone that is, but... I, I will sp totally spread your voice if I knew who you were. Totally. Yeah, I've totally never been over here before. It's a new place. I've never seen it in my life. Let's go back up here. Where am I? This is not familiar at all. White herb. Okay. What's over here? Lakeside cave. That's where more footprints be, right? I think so. But first of all, there's still more over here. Okay, I need one more. I think I need one more. Okay, let's go find it in the cave, actually. I only need one more. There you go. <laughs> Done. Okay. I know exactly what Tarakian was like when, you know, he was out and about. He was one of those Pokemon that loved to eat berries underneath trees and enjoy the scenery of the ocean. That's what he was like. Alright, Sonya. No way, that... Isn't that the grassland Pokemon Verizion? Bang up job. I knew you could do it. Ah, sugar, there I go again. But it's so hard to contain my, my excitement. Here, take this for giving me the chance to see the this legendary Pokemon in the flesh. Okay. That's slightly better than 10 experience candy small. There's just one more legendary Pokemon we haven't tracked down yet. So hop to it. You've got this. You've got the 100% of the data needed to track the cavern Pokemon. There should be enough data for us to pin down where it usually lives. I'm assuming it's in Dyna Tree Hill. Searching for energy signatures. And it's found a matching Pokemon. Cavern Pokemon can be found at Lake Si- <laughs> Wow! Are you serious? Considering I found, like, all of the footprints outside of the cavern, it's actually in the cavern. You finally get to come face to face with the legend of Pokemon we've been searching for. Best of luck. Thanks. I mean, I guess it makes sense why, why a rock type Pokemon like Terrakian will be in the lakeside cavern, but I literally found every single footprint outside of the cavern. Except for two. But yeah, that's crazy. That is weird. <laughs> that is really strange. Alright. Let's see. So I'm going to look up what Terrakian is. What type. What type it is. I know it's got to be rock, right? It's literally called the cavern Pokemon. So it's rock fighting. Okay. So I think fire type actually might be good. Hello, Ferrothorn. Laron, Laron. 
Zubat does too many Pokemon. Agron. Karkal. Here you go. That wasn't bad. Alright, last one. Last one. And this one I actually have to fight. Let's try Fire Pledge. See how much that does. Okay. Um. Good job, Cinderace. Let's try Pyro Ball. It is my strongest attack, but it's a fire type move, so. Ooh. That was. That was crazy awesome. Um, I have 100 Ultra Balls, so let's hope it goes into at least one of them. I have 100 Ultra Balls and 50 Great Balls. It's gotta go into at least one of them, right? Ooh, that was hard. Critical hit. Oh, hey, it shook once. That's actually better progress than Verizion. <laughs> Took a long time to shake. Ooh, nice. I don't understand how Verizion was so hard <laughs> to catch. It literally was so hard. It knocked out all of my Pokemon. I don't know how it was so hard to catch. Anyways, we got it. We got it. Easy peasy. Alright, let's go ahead and go back to Sonia, see what she has to say. And I'll call it a day. That Pokemon, I knew it! That's a cavern Pokemon, Terrakian! We did it! This is just amazing! Who's the greatest professor in Gaylor now? I am. Don't tell my grandma said that, would you? But I couldn't be happier about what we've done here. I hope you'll take this little reward. Sure. It's all thanks to you that I was able to prove my theory was correct. Thank you so much. You'd make a first-rate assistant for my work if you weren't already the champion. You know, there's an old legend about Kerbalion, Terrakian, and Verzion. It said that to protect their allies, they waged battle against humans bent on destruction. And ever since then, they've kept themselves apart from humanity. But the fact remains that they agreed to become your Pokémon. I guess maybe they're willing to give humanity another chance? Hehe, <laughs> it warms your heart a bit, doesn't it? Now that enough dithering about. I've got to get back home to write this all up. I'll be seeing you around. Don't catch cold in this freezing place. And have fun with your own adventures. Come on, Yamper. You and me are heading home. Who's... Who's, um... Whose Beldum is that? If that's not Sonya's, whose Beldum is that? Just a random Beldum? What's up? Okay, I don't know whose that is. Alright, anyways, um, you guys, we caught the final three legendary Pokemon. Oh my god. And it did not take long at all. Anyways, that's what I in this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, but come back next time for more Pokemon Sword. I will be completing the Pokedex. I'll see you guys then.